Hey everybody, um, I'm Jaco with Part-Time Film School and I thought I'd do a quick video just kind of demonstrating what it looks like now using my Blackmagic camera as, uh, as a webcam. So recently Blackmagic put out the 8.6 public beta for Blackmagic camera and firmware so that you can update the, the 4K, 6K, 6K G2, 6K Pro, which I'm recording on, and the cinema camera 6K. So we get all these updates and along with it, we get things like web camera support. There's a couple other things which are, which are good. Um, I'm gonna switch this over, see what this looks like. Okay, so you get the, uh, the media pool file browser the Blackmagic cloud features and way things you can work directly with uh, with your Resolve projects. Um, it says improved what gyro metadata. You know, hopefully that that works really well. But what I was most interested in is this right here, the webcam. So that's what I'm demonstrating right here. I uh, okay. So I've been messing around with a couple different settings on this. So here I'm in my office. I've got a couple of aperture bulbs up here that I'm running through the Citus Link app. I'm uh, recording sound through my Zoom recorder. And here I've got a USB-C cable going directly from my uh, 6K Pro into my computer. I've, and, and I'm recording everything in uh, OBS right now. So what uh, I'm interested in is this is a very simple workflow if I can get a high quality image that I'm happy with without having to record directly to the device and sync in up audio later or something like that. If this speeds up the process for me, it makes it easier to do talking head videos like this and that I can also, you know, demonstrate things on the camera. So it was a little bit weird at first. It felt really laggy. I had originally set OBS to, um, to be 24 frames per second and it felt like it wasn't out of sync but it was laggy and that was weird and strange and I didn't like that. I've put it up to 60 frames per second which I would never do but it as a webcam it looks a lot better. I don't know. What do you think about the color temperature here? Was this a little warmer? Too warm? I wasn't sure what to do. I've got it up to daylight now. Anyway this uh, maybe this is right. Just trying to check things out to see how this works. Um, some of the, the bottlenecks and limitations. Um, this isn't recording to be raw. I am using the LUT and I'm baking in the LUT because I'm recording directly to the computer. Um, I, I felt like it was a little bit weird. I set it to like the M, what file format did I put it at? Settings. For my video capture, I'm, re I'm recording this in OBS at, I can show you this. No, I can't. Indistinguishable quality as a Matroska video file. I don't know. That seemed to be working the best, but we'll see. We'll see. That's what, and that's what I'm interested in is uh, modeling what's possible. I have a, I have a new computer powerful processor it's running an i7 and it can you know run real fast um so i'm hope hopefully there's no equipment bottlenecks i just want to see what's possible recording to 1080p in obs and how well the black magic you know webcam setups work so what do you think what do you think of the the video quality here is this is this on par that I could just record straight to OBS and not have to do all the extra file transfer and syncing later. Anyway, just curious what you think and uh, demoing this at the same time. If you think that this, uh, this looks good, then those are the settings I used. I'm still tinkering around, trying to figure out what I think is best, but uh, well, there you go. There's a demo and a test. Hope that this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.